Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, I am comparing three colleges which is BIT Bangalore, BMS IT and then NIE in Mysore, right? So first college on the list is BIT Bangalore and I am uh, talking about the placements for last three years as per the NIRF information, right? So good news is that now BIT Bangalore, which is Bangalore Institute of Technology, is also an autonomous college from this year. So it will be at par with all the two other options, which is BMSIT is also autonomous and same goes with uh, NI Mysore is also autonomous. So now let's see the placements. So in 2021 passing batch, around 940 students were eligible to sit in the placement and out of which uh, you know 535 student got placed so almost like 60 percent placement was there with the median salary of 4.8 lakhs and 81 students went for the higher studies now if you move to the next year which is uh, 2022 passing batch and 980 students were eligible and out of which good 708 students got placed which is quite big jump 150 more students got placed and the median salary was around 4.5 lakhs and in the current year which was 2023 passing batch which is the latest information available out of 846 eligible students 659 of got placed with the median salary of 5 lakhs so there is a good increase in number of placements as well as median salaries bms it bms institute of technology in bangalore this is also an autonomous engineering college and if you see the number of uh, placements or students who are sitting for placements were 724 on the 21. So you can believe that around 900, 800 to 900 students would have been there on the roll. Out of those 800 to 900 students, 610 got placed with the median salary 4 lakhs, which was quite low. But the next year, 778 were graduating in a minimum time and that time 640 students got placed so that is uh, a similar placement number 640 median salary increased to quite good 6 lakhs next year which is 2023 batch right which was the latest placement year 888 were you know graduating in the minimum time frame and the number of placements were 741 so there is a big jump of 100 more students got placed so now place students are 741 median salary was 6 lakhs so you can see it has remained median salary remained constant but the number of place students they tried to place in the recession year was 741 which is called good and next college on the list is like uh, NI Mysore so this figure are for NI Mysore the third college on the list and this is based out of Mysore and affiliated to VTU and it's an autonomous college. So one of the old and established college, they have a good alumni like uh, Narayan Murthy who is uh, founder of uh, Infosys and then many others. So if you talk about the NRF placement detail for last three years in 2021 uh, passing batch out, around 763 students were eligible to sit in the placements and out of that close to 617 students got placed with the median salary of 5.5 lakhs so that is quite decent and uh, next year like the number of students graduating again placed around 712 and out of which 661 students got placed so almost like 40 more students got placed in 2022 and the big jump in the median salary you can see it's like 7.5 lakhs so which is quite excellent and a number of students going for higher studies also reduced to 30 students only and now you see in the next year which is uh, 2023 number of students graduating in a minimum time period was 825 and out of them excellently 788 that is close to 800 students got placed and the median salary again became excellent 7.8 lakh so very close to 8 lakh median salary so that is the update of ni mysore and quite excellent option for student of karnataka and they can go for this also so there are three options which i have talked about all of them autonomous colleges and all of them having a great placement you know and the cutoffs are also similar 
So that's all. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care.